Hi, so today we're going to be looking at logarithm rules. So uh, to do this, we're going to first of all remember what a logarithm is. So a logarithm is the power. So it's the power that generates the number in your given base. So if we're looking um, at log in base 10 of 100, we're saying what power in base 10 would we need to give us 100? So 10 squared equals 100, so the power needed is 2. So we're going to start off by looking at the first rule, and this is an extension of the indices rule. So we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n. The answer is a to the power of m plus n. So we multiply here, we add up there. So first of all, we're going to start by defining b as equal is equaling a to the m and c as equaling a to the n. Taking logs and remembering the answer to the logs is the power. So here we get the answer of this will be m, which is the power, and we're in base a, um, and we want to get the b. So log in base a of b equals m and n will equal log in base a of c. Exactly the same from here. Now, if we take b times c, we've actually got a to the m times a to the n. And then using our rule here, we can see that we just add these two powers to get a to the m plus n. Now, rewriting this again in the sort of log format, we say log in base a, because there's our base, to get the answer of b times c is this power here. So we would have to raise a to the m plus n to give us b times c. Now substituting back for m and n, so we have m and n here, we're going to put them in here. We see that we get log in base a of b times c is the same in log um, in base A of B plus log in base A of C. Now this is really important. So when we have log of two numbers which are multiplied, we can split the log into two bits and add them together. And actually you can see that's similar here. When we're multiplying here, we add up there. So it's not so difficult to remember. Okay, so rule two is to do with dividing. Again, we're extending the indice rule. Um, so we've got m divided by, sorry, a to the m divided by a to the n, and when we have the division, we do the subtraction. So we do the same thing, we divide, uh, define b and c in the same way, and write out the logs exactly in the same way as the screen before. Then we're going to take b divided by c, so we take b from here and c from there, so we have a to the m over a to the n. And then using our rule, we know we can, we can sorry, take away the powers. Again, rewriting this in log form, this is our number. Here's our base, and this is the power. So log in base A of B over C will equal the power that generates that answer, which is M minus N. Once again, we're going to substitute back for M and N. And now this gives us, gives us if we have log in a base of b over c, we can split it out into log in the base a of b, take away log in base a of c. So again, it's a very similar thing here. When we divide, we take away. So it's, it's not too difficult to remember, So, but it is important to learn. So the third rule comes from taking a power of a power, again, extending the indice rules. So if, that, if we have a to the power of m, um, to all to the power of n, it's the same as a to the power of m times n. So again, we define our b and our c and our m and our n in the same way. We take b and we raise it to the power of n which is the same as raising a to the m to the power of n, which gives us using our rule that b to the n equals a to the m n. So we're doing all these in, in base a, so we're rewriting this in the log form. 
So we have log in base A of the number that we're sort of trying to get will equal the power. So here we have the power here. Now once again we're going to um, substitute back for M. Um, not for N, just for just for uh, M. So we get log in base A of B to the N is log in base A of B times N. And if you see what we're doing here, when we have something to a power inside a log, we actually have ended up being able to multiply by that power. Um, that's a really important one to learn again. So if we have, let me say it again, if you take the log of something, with a power in it, you can take that power and you can take it outside of the log. So there are the rules. They have to be remembered. Um, so write them down if you haven't got them somewhere handy. You'll need them. So let's try a couple of questions. So if you can just pause now and try these yourself um, and then start again when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you uh, managed these. So when we were adding, we multiplied. So we can put, we can either split the logs out or put them together. Um, although I haven't written it here, these we presume will be in the same base. And if it's not specified, we will presume it's base 10, but uh, it's not set there. So log of 7 plus a log of 3 is the same as the log of 3 times 7, which is log of 21. Here we're minusing, and when we're minusing, we divide. Um, so log of 42 minus log of 7 is the same as log of 42 over 7, which is log of 6. And then when we have the power, log of 5 to the power of 4, we put it outside the log, in front of the log, and we can multiply everything by 4. Okay, I hope that was useful.